Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Nifon Tui and on this channel I make sewing tutorials. I post new videos every Wednesdays and on Saturdays. Now in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a sleeve placket. You've seen the thumbnail. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you've seen the video where I teach you guys the two part series, part one and part two on how to make a shirt, please don't bother seeing this anymore. This video is just, um, was taken from that, um, from that entire class, from that entire video. The video was very long so I just took this part out because um, some people be interested in this and might not want to see the entire video so uh, so I hope you like the video if you like the video give it a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe um, have a great day and also if you are interested in the um, course I'm offering these two timetables we are starting on Monday I'm going to teach you guys how to work on your sewing how to clean up your sewing because a lot of people um, put a lot of emphasis on um, on pattern drafting and all of that but your finishing is just as important finishing is why people can charge um, 10,000 naira to make a skirt and you are stuck charging 1,005 and most co most clients don't want to even pay you more than that so your finishing is um, if you improve your your finishing you can up your your price that's that's just the secret to it the finishing is part of the of the entire package anyway let me stop talking I uh, hope you like the video have a nice day what we can see here is a sleeve pattern that i've already drafted if you want to see how to draft a sleeve like this make sure you see the video on how to draft a shirt dress so with that out of the way as you can see this is the front part of my sleeve remember the, the sleeve has two parts this, the part of the sleeve that curves out is the back of the sleeve and the part of the sleeve that curves in like so is the front of our sleeve so what we're going to do is what we're trying to do now first of all with the sleeve is before we attach it to um the shirts that we're making we're going to need to put a um a placket so the part of the shirt that opens up okay that allows your hands to enter and come out of the shirt that's the um, that part of the shirt that opens up this is an image of what the placket looks like um so that's what we're going to learn how to do today so first of all before we begin what you're going to do is you're going to place your sleeves exactly how i've placed mine okay so we have our sleeves like so as you can see i place it the front side this is the front of my shirt. It's facing the front part of my shirt. As you can see, all the part of the um, sleeve, they are sitting where they're supposed to be. So I have the back side of the sleeve with the back. I have the front cover of the sleeve with the front. All right. So with that out of the way, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this over. Okay. Now you see the back of the sleeve. Um, remember the side with the, with the curve here is the front of the sleeve. The side that is a bit um, more... F um, flat the side that's a bit flat is the back of the sleeve that's the part of the sleeve that will face the back side of your shirt so what we're going to do is you're going to come to this part of the sleeve that's the side of the sleeve that has the back you're going to come all the way down to the bottom part there okay so let me turn it like this so that you guys can see what we're working with so back of the sleeve like i said back of the sleeve the bottom part of the back of the sleeve we're going to come to this part here and what you're going to do now to make your placket first of all we have to draw out the lines so we're going to first measure from here to here at three inches okay now these three inches work for any person from um, a medium-sized person to a large person okay so first of all from here to here you mark three and then you're going to come down by four inches so we're going to draw a straight line from here all the way down at with a stop our line at four inches if you want you can bring it down to 4.5 even all the way down to five inches depending on what you want but for what i'm doing five inches will be just enough okay so remember here to here three here down four you can make it go all the way down to five as a matter of fact if you are working on a design that is um very very different and you know very very unusual this can even go all the way up up you, you can do whatever when it comes to how high up this can go but so that this doesn't sit too close to your joining because at the end of the day have to join this side of the shirt to this other side so that this line doesn't see too close to the make sure that the distance from here to here is at least three inches okay so now with that out of the way we're going to we've measured from here to here four we're going to make the exact same mark so you see what i'm doing i'm going to keep here like so press it flat make a mark here i'm trying to replicate this line on the other side okay now first of all i marked here then i marked here okay this is just right um on the same spot with the um first line that i drew so i'm going to make sure that this again is still four inches so i'm going to rule a line from here stop my line at four inches so that is where that is going to stop all right so at this point i've made my mark here and i made my mark here the next step will be to make our plaquettes 
now to begin the process when we're making our plaquettes what you're going to do first of all is you're going to make sure that you cut remember in the first video i um we i told you guys that we'll be using cloth gum we use cloth gum in the color and um uh, so i told you guys that we'll be needing cloth gum or if if in, just in case if i didn't you're going to need cloth gum now what i have done is this piece that i have cut this piece of cloth gum is seven inches by one meaning that the distance from here to here here to here is seven inches and the distance from here to here here to here is one inches so seven inch by one inch you're going to need to cut your cloth gum like this all right now the next thing in case you don't have cloth gum what you can use is gum stay if you are abroad you know that fusible interfacing that feels like paper it's like paper that has um that has the adhesive the heat activated adhesive on one side now if you have access to um that you can use it but most times i prefer to use cloth gum cloth gum is like it feels like a cotton fabric it feels like cotton fabric that has um a shiny part now the shiny part has some friction to it that's because of this is the side that has the heat activated um glue on it so make sure that you look out for this if you just in case if it's not called cloth gum where you are but anyway seven by one so after we have cut this we'll keep this aside and then it's time to cut the actual fabric that will be used for our placket so what i'm using here is just any piece of fabric as you can see it's just fabric all right so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to come from the edge of your fabric right from the edge here you're going to make a mark at four inches okay i'm going to make a mark at four inches you see that and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mark 7.5 so from here to here, four inches. From the four inches now, if you see where I'm placing my 7.5, look at where my tape is. That's where my point, my the 7.5 starts. I'm going to come to the top and I'm going to make a mark. All right. I'm going to measure from here to here to make sure that it still stays um, four inches. And then I'm going to measure from here to here. Okay. I'm going to measure from here to here. We have a line from here to here, and we measure another line out like so see that when you're done with that we're going to cut it out so we're going to i'm going to cut it out like so and then when you're done with that you can now keep this guy aside and you're going to fold come to the edge of your fabric all right you're going to fold it like so from the edge you're simply going to fold it like so as you can see i'm folding in half an inch you're going to iron it from top to bottom with that you're going to take the um, gum stay that we have make sure that you um, keep it close because we're going to need it very soon so first of all we iron from here to here we're going to now iron from here to here we're going to repeat the exact same thing we're going to iron the bottom part of uh of the plaquettes that we are making so first of all we folded the side at half an inch we're going to repeat the same thing at the bottom and then you take the side of the cloth gum that has the adhesive and you're going to bind it onto this part here now see see the way i'm ironing it from where you are you can see that there's a little fabric like 0 0.1 inch of fabric showing at all sides so i have like 0 0.1 here i have 0 0.1 here i'm not pushing the cloth gum to the edge like so okay i'm keeping it a bit away from the edge that's so that the cloth gum doesn't show when we're done when you're done make sure there's a half inch um, allowance sitting on that side and you press it down so now when that is done what you're going to do is you're going to come from the top here this one coming i'm going to need to cut off this little excess that we have here so when that is done i'm going to press it once again so after i have ironed on my cloth gum to the fabric that i have here i'm going to come from the edge like this you see what i'm doing i kept the tape at the very very beginning i'm going to come to where two inches is i'm going to make a mark at two inches you see that so from the edge here two inches and then i'm going to come up by two inches so from here i'm going to come up to this point i'm going to make a mark at two inches you see that so i'm going to draw a line out of here i'm going to draw a line down okay so two inches two inches mm, accidents i'm going to come here 
I'm stressing this up and then I'm going to straighten here up too so two inches two inches when you get to the top of two inches draw a straight line out all right just for reference after you you mark the two inches here and two inches up make sure that you have 1.5 as you can see what i have left here is 1.5 the distance from where this angle is to the edge of your fabric should be 1.5 if you don't have 1.5 that means you've made a mistake take a look at it and do it again all right so when you're done with that we are basically done with this you're going to repeat the exact same thing um two times because you know there are there are two um sleeves so you're going to have to repeat this two times but what, uh, whatever you do make sure that you do what we did on the sleeve remember on the sleeve i told you front side facing front side make sure you repeat the exact same thing as you can see i've done this two times okay and as you can see they're facing opposite directions that's what you should have at the end of the day if you have two of them like this and you have the other white on top of here you've made a mistake and you've made two um the two plackets to face the wrong side so you're going to make sure that you have one side facing here one side facing the other way at the end of the day by the time you flip them over like this you should have them touching themselves all right front side facing front remember that front facing front so when that is done you're going to come to this edge you see this edge right here you're going to fold the edge like this and you're going to iron at that point okay we're going to iron at the edge see what i did so that's what you're going to do on both sides iron here and then we're going to iron here so now i'm going to show you guys how we sew this so as you can see here i have my two um my plackets, two of my plackets, and I have both sides of my sleeve. Okay, see that two plackets, two sleeves. So, what I'm going to do is this I'm going to get rid of one side of the placket from the sleeve, okay, and one side of the placket. Now, what you're going to do is this you're going to take your fabric, okay, it's what I'm doing. You're going to take the placket that's facing the other way because I'm going to sew like this, but I'm going to turn all of this inside out and it's facing the other way. So, what you're going to do is this you see the small parts of the placket should be facing the small part of the line you see the part of the pattern that has the whites it should be facing the inside all right so sorry in case you didn't get that what i said was when you are fixing the plackets, remember there are two plackets, and if you look at what I told you, if I should do this, it will come out wrong. This plackets will come out facing the small part. Now that's that's not what we want. So that's what I told you. There are two that different plackets for different sides of the sleeve. Alright, so you see this part of the plackets now. By the time you place it on top, you should place it the front facing the back side, facing outside. Alright, because we're going to need to turn this inside out. So you're going to place this one on top of this, like so. See what I'm doing? Right? See that? I'm going to place it and I'm going to stitch this guy down. Please watch closely. Alright, you're going to keep stitching down on that line. When you get to half inch before the end, you see, I'm leaving my needle inside there. Lifting this guy up, I'm turning it around. You see this? I'm turning it around. I'm going to drop this back down. If you look at it, alright? Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys to see this. Good. If you look at this closely, you would notice that my needle is sitting down. I first ran on that straight line down to close to where the edge was. And then I'm going to sew down one, two, all right? That's all you're going to need. You're going to need a very, very little hole down there. You see this? And then I'm going to go back up to the top. to lock it at this point so see what i told you we came down on the main line all right when we came here we made a very very small stitch here of you can call it 0 0.4 0, 0 0.3 inches so we came down 0 0.3 inches and then we go back up all right so that's what you are going to do when you are doing yours all right so i'm going to repeat the exact same thing for the other sleeve so now when we are done with binding them together we're going to need to cut the middle of here now please watch closely what i'm doing cutting the center you see that right at the middle of the line that i have here so you're going to cut down all the way when you get close to the end you're going to make a v so you see this angle that we have here in order to make it turn to the front smoothly we're going to need to make a notch like so make sure that you don't break the seam 
that's that angle we made there make sure that your scissors doesn't break the seam when you are doing that if not it's going to um, start to loosen and then whatever you've done is going to go wrong so now when you're done with that you're going to turn all of this inside out like so so flip it over to the other side and turn everything so you see it when we turn this first part inside out we're going to iron this part flat turn this side inside out we're going to iron this part flat like so see that and then i'm going to now try and arrange it properly so we arrange this part arrange this part we're going to press an iron here all the way down all right and then we're going to press and iron this part too all the way down to the bottom okay now when you're done with that next thing you're going to do is you're going to need to fold this part here two times all right so we're going to fold it the first time half inch we're going to fold half inch the first time so you hope you can see that fold half inch we're going to press and iron it down okay and then we're going to flip it one more time mm. so you see that okay so you see this part now the next thing we're going to do is you're going to take this other part you see this part here we're going to take it and you're going to use it to cover up this part so you see here it's still flat here it's like this you're going to take here you're going to lift it up and it's going to cover here so you see that by just doing that you can already see that we've made the placket okay so this is how the shirt is going to open up at the sleeve at the cuff the bottom part of the sleeve you see that so that's the look that we are that's what we're trying to achieve when you're done with placing this guy down use your iron and press it press it flat okay now when you're done with that see this excess here we don't really don't need it so you're going to come please be very careful you see this part that is folded inside this is what we don't need okay so you're going to open it up or better still so you don't confuse yourself just let it be we're going to cut off some of it because we don't need that we're going to iron this part down but if you leave it on that day it's not going to make any difference but i like to just lighten up that place so that when i'm sewing my needle does not um, run into any um, thickness and it's not in, um, interfered by um any bulk that we have on that day but if you leave it on that day and use a big size on your machine or if you're dealing with a lightweight fabric you uh, you won't have any any difficulty so i'm going to take this to the machine now and then show you how to um stitch everything so as you can see this is the part that we just finished ironing the small part and this is the part that's going to go up like so and cover it so now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to need to stitch down the small side so we're going to come here place here flat like so and we're going to stitch all the way from top to bottom. So you see what I'm doing? I'm sewing close to the edge. I'm going to run that line all the way down to the bottom part. I'm going to lock it there. So, when we are done with that, we're going to take this other part and place it over it you see what i'm doing okay see what i'm doing please make sure that what, when you are doing this that this part doesn't go and enter make sure when you are stitching that the small part doesn't go under and enter so you're going to separate this guy please remember how i'm folding it i'm not keeping this one flat when i'm flat when i'm stitching i'm folding it like this and i'm going to stitch here remember that place that we folded around where the white stopped when we're ironing so we're going to put this part under like so and we're going to stitch from top to bottom. So we're going to keep on going like that. When you get close to here, now you guys can see, you guys can see where this line, where, where that part that we notched, the part that we notched and we turned it inside out. When you see that, you are, that your needle is close to that part, what you're going to do is this. You're going to leave your needle inside like I have just done leave the needle inside the machine lift up the presser foot and turn the fabric okay the needle is still inside there and then you're going to drop down your presser foot and you're going to stitch across okay so now we stitch across all right and when we're done stitching across we're now going to run down
run down here, come up again. Okay, as you guys can see, we first started from up here, we ran here, came across, we have gone down. Let's come like so, get to the end, turn this over and move to the top. So, as you guys can see here, what I did was I started from up here, separated this one from the mix, ran from here straight down. When I got to where we had the notch, that's the place where we turned it inside out, I stopped, came across, okay, I went down, came like this, went back up. When I got to the point, to this point here, I now locked it at that point so that's what you're going to do